Karkar, officially the city of Karkar, Cebuano, Dakbayan Sa Karkar, Tagalog, Lungsod ng Karkar, or simply known as Karkar City, is a fifth-class city in the province of Cebu, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 119,664 people. Karkar City is bordered to the north by the town of San Fernando, to the west are the towns of Aloganzan and Barili, to the east is the Cebu Strait, and to the south is the town of Sibonga. Karkar lies within Metro Cebu area. History Karkar was known as Sayalao. Since before the Spanish colonization, it became a municipality in 1599. Karkar is considered one of the oldest towns in Cebu, with its Spanish influence lasted more than 300 years ago. During the 11th Congress 1998 Congress enacted into law 33 bills converting 33 municipalities into cities. However, Congress did not act on a further 24 bills converting 24 other municipalities into cities. During the 12th Congress 2001 to 2004, Congress enacted into law Republic Act No. 9009, RA 9009, which took effect on 30 June 2001. RA 9009 amended Section 450 of the Local Government Code by increasing the annual income requirement for conversion of a municipality into a city from 20 million pesos to 100 million pesos. The rationale for the amendment was to restrain, in the words of Senator Aquilino Pimentel, the mad rush of municipalities to convert into cities solely to secure a larger share in the internal revenue allotment despite the fact that they are incapable of fiscal independence. After RA 9009 went into effect, the House of Representatives of the 12th Congress adopted Joint Resolution No. 29, which sought to exempt from the 100 million pesos income requirement in RA 9009 the 24 municipalities whose cityhood bills were not approved in the 11th Congress. However, the 12th Congress ended without the Senate having approved Joint Resolution No. 29. During the 13th Congress 2004 to 2007, the House of Representatives re-adopted former Joint Resolution No. 29 as Joint Resolution No. 1 and forwarded it to the Senate for approval. However, the Senate again failed to approve the Joint Resolution. Following the suggestion of Senator Aquilino Pimentel, Senate President, 16 municipalities filed, through their respective sponsors, individual cityhood bills. The 16 cityhood bills each contained a common provision exempting it from the 100 million pesos income requirement of RA 9009. Exemption from Republic Act No. 9009 The city of XXX shall be exempted from the income requirement prescribed under Republic Act No. 9009. On the 22nd of December 2006, the House of Representatives approved the cityhood bills. The Senate also approved the cityhood bills in February 2007, except that of Naga, Cebu which was passed on 7 June 2007. These cityhood bills lapsed into law on various dates from March to July 2007 after President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo failed to sign them. The point of law at issue in 2007 was whether there had been a breach of Section 10, Article 10 of the 1987 Constitution, which provides, no province, city, municipality, or barangay shall be created, divided, merged, abolished or its boundary substantially altered, except in accordance with the criteria established in the local government code and subject to approval by a majority of the votes cast in a plebiscite in the political units directly affected and in each case the established criteria were far from met. In November 2008, Karkar and 15 other cities lost their cityhood after the Supreme Court of the Philippines granted a petition filed by the League of Cities of the Philippines, and declared unconstitutional the cityhood law RA 9436, which had allowed the town to acquire its city status. The Supreme Court ruled that they did not pass the requirements for cityhood. On 10 December 2008, the 16 cities affected acting together filed a motion for reconsideration with the Supreme Court. 
More than a year later, on the 22nd of December 2009, acting on said appeal, the court reversed its earlier ruling as it ruled that, at the end of the day, the passage of the amendatory law regarding the criteria for cityhood as set by Congress is no different from the enactment of a law, i.e., the cityhood laws specifically exempting a particular political subdivision from the criteria earlier mentioned. Congress, in enacting the exempting law S, effectively decreased the already codified indicators, accordingly cityhood status was restored. But on 27 August 2010, the 16 cities lost their city status again, after the Supreme Court voted 7-6, with two justices not taking part, to reinstate the 2008 decision declaring as unconstitutional the Republic Acts that converted the 16 municipalities into cities. A previous law required towns aspiring to become cities to earn at least 100 million pesos annually, which none of the 16 did. On the 15th of February 2011, the Supreme Court made another volt face and upheld for the third time the cityhood of 16 towns in the Philippines. Finally, on the 12th of April 2011, the Supreme Court, in an en banc ruling delivered in Baguio City, affirmed the finality of the constitutionality of the 16 cityhood laws by resolving that we should not ever lose sight of the fact that the 16 cities covered by the cityhood laws not only had conversion bills pending during the 11th Congress, but have also complied with the requirements of the LGC, prescribed prior to its amendment by R.A. Number 9009. Congress undeniably gave these cities all the considerations that justice and fair play demanded. Hence, this court should do no less by stamping its imprimatur to the clear and unmistakable legislative intent and by duly recognizing the certain collective wisdom of Congress. Wherefore, the ad cautelum motion for reconsideration of the decision dated 15 February 2011 is denied with finality. On 28 June 2011 the Supreme Court directed the Clerk of Court to issue the entry of judgment on the cityhood case of 16 municipalities. Geography Karkar is located 40 kilometers 25 miles south of Cebu City. It is bounded on the north by San Fernando, on the south by Sibonga, on the west by Bareilly and Alogansan, and on the east by the Cebu Strait. It has a land area of 116.78 square kilometers, 45.09 square miles. Topography the land is generally level with less than 18% slope, comprising 78.7% .7 of the total land area. Areas with slopes ranging from 18 to 50 percent cover 19.3 percent of the total land area and those over 50 percent slope, comprise approximately 1.9 percent. The highest recorded elevation is a little over 660 meters 2170 feet above sea level, located within the barangay of Napo. Soil type municipality has five dominant soil types namely, Faraon clay, steep phase, the Lugo clay, the Mandao clay loam and the hydrosol type. Climate the wet season occurs during the months of May to October and the dry season, from January to May. Barangays Karkar comprises 15 barangays, demographics tourism as a heritage city of Cebu, Karkar contains various Spanish and American period structures. The Karkar Plaza alone hosts several heritage structures, the Church of St. Catherine of Alexandria dominates the area. Within the complex various structures stand, including quaint houses and their distinctive architectural details. Surrounding the rotunda and in the public market one will find the famous Karkar Shikaran, Lechon, Ampau, Bucarillo, Gorgorias and Puso, just some of the local delicacies. Guadalupe Mabunao Mainit Hot Spring National Park Heritage houses such as the Mercado Mansion Toyom Beach, Beach Houses Notable people Monsignor Teofilo Bastida Camomit founded the Congregation of Blessed Virgin Missionaries Sharon Regis, Singer Gallery References Sources External links DTI Cebu, Karkar Images of Karkar, the heritage city of Cebu http colon slash slash veronism dot blogspot dot com slash twenty ten slash ten slash belay dash na dash tisa dash karkar dash cebu html